hey crafters it's your girl again with another video um today's video i am going to be showing you guys how i make my hair bows and also my bows for my tutus i kind of changed things around um i did some testing and i kind of figured out what i um really want and how i want it to look like so i'm gonna just show you guys what i have right now i just made this here and this oopsie it just dropped <laughs> Alrighty, so this is the bowl that I just made, and um, it has the clip at the back. So I am gonna show you guys how to make it. I had a request from a subscriber that wanted me to show her how I make my bowl. So um, I cannot remember her name, but um, this is it, and this one is going to be for the skirts the tutu and this is the hair bowl so i am just gonna show you guys real quick so i am going to measure this is the um ribbon i'm using for this you are gonna need your hot glue of course and you will need your um clips or this one it depends this this um what they call it this hair bowl that i'm making is for it's not for kids when I'm doing kids, I use this one, but I'm doing this for an adult because I got an adult tutu request and they needed bowls with it. So I am going to measure um, 25 inches of this bowl, of this reba, my say. So I'm going to measure 25 inches of this ribbon and i got it to be 25 here so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it oh my mom can i blow this off no it's still sleeping so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it 25 inches so of course i forgot to tell you guys all the things that you're gonna need of course you're gonna need a scissors and what else you're gonna need a uh, hairbands and um pretty much that should be it and of course your ribbons so excuse me i got my daughter here so you will definitely be seeing her you know so anyways um i'm gonna show you how i am gonna do this here hi hi so i'm gonna cut another piece here probably like i'm just gonna eyeball it so maybe it's gonna be like five inches it's not even up to five inches you know what let me just measure it just to be precise yep it's five inches i was correct so what i'm gonna do here is i am going to um i'm gonna save this because i'm gonna be using this so i'm gonna just cut this here because i'm gonna be using this just cutting these sides i don't want it to be too thick because this is really thick um it's really big probably 2.5 inches long so so here i'm going to go ahead and make it like this i'm not sure the best way to sit down so you guys can see so you just fold this like this here and fold this one like this i just want to make sure these two ends are equal i'm matching up then i'm going to go ahead and make a bow with this and i cross this off cross this two and i'm going to go ahead and give this like a, a bend it's gonna be really like a neat bend if that make any sense ouch i just hit my leg <laughs> that hurts oh my gosh that hurts so <laughs> i cannot cry i'm not kidding that thing hurts but anyways i am gonna go ahead and fold this part here i just like to fold this one here like this 
I'm gonna go like this. Be careful, mama. I'm gonna go like this. You guys see that? So this part is folded. And I'm going to go ahead and start giving it a like a little pinch, 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 pinch. And I gotta make sure everything looks good. So I'm gonna get this side together and make sure I have this going this way. So there we go. And now I got my bow forming. So now I am going to go ahead and use my band to hold it real quick. I usually use um, thread because I have a uh, thread that I'm not using. So I usually use it, but I think using the band, hairband, the baby hairband goes faster. So I am gonna go ahead. One thing with that is it's gonna crunch everything when you're trying to fold it with this band, but with the thread, you just wrap it around. But with this, you have to be careful so you don't squeeze all the fluff. So I am going to give it a second tie. And I'm gonna pull it out, make it look good. So make sure no one, like make sure it's not longer than the other. Uh, make sure this this part here is not long, is not bigger than the other one. I wanna make sure it looks equal. If this is longer than the other, I can cut it for it to look um, same. I'll make sure, okay. So now you can see it's formed. So now I am going to take this piece that I cut in five inches long. This is what we use it for. So I come here, I am gonna go ahead and bend this. While I'm doing this, I'm, I'm gonna um, plug my heat, um, my hot gun, hot glue. <laughs> I'm gonna plug it up so it's ready for me. I got that so like I was showing you guys I get this folded to how I want it to look like and I'm going to go ahead and tie this just a regular tie so you see this here this is what I want this this lump or whatever you call this so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a like a uh, a band see that and boom so now I am gonna use that and make sure the tie is not a loose tie all right looks good and I want to make sure it does equal with the second one because the both of them are going to the same person so I want to make sure one is not bigger than the other okay I just want to make sure it's equal so now we're gonna use this here you see that we're gonna put this here you can use a different color though but for me I'd rather use the same color but if you have two color two two like a two two with two different colors that'll be a great option for you but um so this is how it should look like when i'm done so what i'm gonna do right now i'm just gonna cut this here so um, i don't have um too much fabric so where my scissors so i'm gonna cut this part here and cut it because i know what i need Cut this other side. Actually, after folding this, so I have these three folded parts. So I'm gonna actually. All right, I'm just.
just want to make sure I use my lighter. I just, I don't want this to be too thick. So that's the reason why I kind of, you know, reduce it. So you always want to use your lighter when you cut a, when you cut a ribbon. Otherwise it's going to unravel. So I'm going to use this here. And wrap it around. And do you guys see that? It's looking good already. So I am going to go ahead and use my hot glue and glue this. But before I wrap that around, I like to put my hot glue here first before I put it on the other side. I'm running out of hot glue. Let me put, refill my hot glue gone. So I have my glue here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on here. This part here. And I am going to, let me bend my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so I am going to go ahead and place that on here, the front part here. I'm going to be fast before this glue gets dry. All right, so I just placed it where I want it to be. So now I am going to see how it is. All right. So now the glue is placed. You see that? So now I got to work on this end here. So I'm going to use my glue. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to place this. You guys see that? And this glue can be so messy. I do not like hot glue with the mess. If you want to go ahead and sew it, you can. Because sewing is the best option anyways. I used to sew it. But it kind of takes too much of my time. And um, the fact that it's so thick. It's so hard for my needle to go through. So it's always a fight. So that's the reason why I decided I'm going to be using glue. And I just discovered about. I just got to know about the fabric um, glue. Which I'm going to be buying soon. So I know for sure um, what I'm doing is secured. Hopefully this one too is secured. Because I had already, um, I did my wash test. And I had to pull really hard when I did my wash test. I, I did a test in order to see if it's going to come up. And I pulled really hard before it came up. So that's why I'm still using hot glue. But I am going to be switching very soon. Actually, I'm going to check on Amazon to see if they got it. They should. Amazon got almost everything. Alright, so I'm going to make sure I hold on to it. Alright. Hopefully, it's glued real good. And now, is a part, the time where you can just put your clip, whatever you're using. So, like I said, because of this, an adult rebomb, I am using this big clip. Other than that, I would have used, you can see how pretty this is. It's so pretty. Other than that, I would have used this small, um, what they call this one now? Mm, I can't think of it. But otherwise, I would have used this little one. So, make sure I don't have hot glue all over the place because that thing is so freaking messy. 
N. That's right up. K N I F E. K N I F E, yes, sir. So I'm going to place this here. I'm going to put my glue on here. Put a generous amount. And hopefully this glue can last on the person's head. <laughs> Uh, the best thing, the best thing to do as well is to use um make sure I place it the right place. You can use the wire for rebombs. I actually had the wire but I wasn't using it so that wire can hold down this here there will be a different technique to do it all right it's all done so I'm gonna open this up my hot glue is all over the place so I have to do a clean up to make sure that I don't have hot glue glue all over the place because I don't like it to be messy all right so this is done and that is how you can make a hair bow and you can also use this technique to make the bow for the tutu as well so I have the two of them here Ice cream. Go ask your daddy. So I have the two of them here. And you see them? See the way they are? Boom. So this one here is going to be for the tutu. All right, guys, this is the bow that I made. Of course, you know, I'm not going to put it in front like this. I just wanted you guys to see it. And um, it came out really good. You guys let me know what you think. I'm going to come closer. Can you guys see the details? Like, so pretty. So all of this part here, I'm going to use my um, lighter to seal it because you want to always seal your rebomb each time you cut it. But I just wanted to show you guys how it looked like. So you guys can see how it's going to look like on someone's hair in my opinion this is so pretty like i like it you guys let me know what you think if it came out good um if you guys like it you're gonna try it for your store give me thumbs up so i can know let me know in the comment section if you're actually gonna try it and um i will be checking out for that <laughs> But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging with me. I appreciate that. And sorry this video came um, later than expected. I know you guys already asked me for a minute. and But I've been so busy. I had a lot of sales lately. And it's really been crazy over here. But thank God, you know, that's a good problem. Because when it's busy, when I get a lot of orders, I get busy. So, And of course, the business is going to grow. So... When I get busy, it shows that the business is growing. So I appreciate that. And those of you that are supporting me, um, I appreciate every one of you that are placing orders. I don't know who's placing orders that are my subscribers, but I appreciate every one of you guys. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can know when I post a video. And do not forget to tell me on the in the comment section if you're gonna try this for your store if it came out good let me know and anyways guys thank thank you so much guys for watching thank you for hanging with me as always stay positive work hard and let's all make it happen bye